um, blessings in disguise, and that's what I'm hearing for you. Blessings in disguise are coming. Do pay attention because they're not going to come in big, huge, huge waves, but it'll come when you need it. Example, like I said, I've actually had this happen to me. I've actually had this happen to me, and I and, and I feel that Pisces has actually been feeling kind of low and stuff like this. Not the exact same thing has happened. I actually had, and I've actually helped people too. Um, I had gone in and um, I was on Walmart, and I was sitting here, and I just got just the basic stuff, right? And this is towards this is an example for Pisces. Um, I was in there, and I got everything, and I was just getting ready to leave, and everything, and I put the card in, and guess what? Bank was overdrawn. It was stuff I had to have. Had to have. I was at my wit's end. Could not, you know, I'd had enough. I mean, I was, I was about ready to start crying. That's how bad it was. Okay, Pisces is going through something similar like this. But then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, literally, they, I mean, they just must have, I'm sure they felt it. Because I was trying to hide my face because I was like, oh, it was, it, because I don't get embarrassed easy. But... You know, enough's enough. After you've had a large amount of crap happen, you're just like, ooh, can't take no more. All of a sudden, here comes this woman, walks around me, puts her card in. I'm looking at her. I'm dumbfounded because I'm about to, I'm trying not to cry. And she paid for it. Okay, blessings in disguise. I even tried to argue with her. Didn't work. Well, blessings in disguise. Pisces is very, very, very good. Look for these blessings in disguise and see the thing that is what goes around comes around. The exact same thing I did for somebody about a year and a half ago. And like I said, you don't go on the, well, I help these people now. Nobody wants to, I mean, that's something you keep to yourself. The only reason I'm saying something is it whatever Pisces, Pisces has a very good heart. And Pisces, what you have done in the past is actually going to come back around and help you again. Literally. So out of the blue, like that example of what happened to me, I had had the exact same thing a year and a half before that where there was a woman with some kids and, you know, I won't tell all the details, but I mean, she was crying and it was bad. You could tell she, she was down at her lowest. And I walked over there and I, I took care of it because I could. And then I walked away and didn't say a thing. Okay, the same person that I had did it for me kind of did it similar in. So that's what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying not to like divulge all information type stuff. You, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to give an example. So Pisces for during these low times that's been going on and it, it, it's no joke. I mean, it's like that example. What you have done, if you've been a good person, it will come back around and you're not going to get every single thing you want. But I do feel that you are going to have support. All right. And it could come in. The, it could come in like literally earth angels. You know, they just walk in, they walk up, they take care of it. I'm not saying, oh, expect everybody to take care of your bills. That's not what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You needed that, you know, you need that break. It's it's going to come. But it's going to be blessings in disguise. All right. So anyway, these right here. Sorry, I was trying to figure out how to say that without giving a bunch of information away. Okay, so this is what I thought was funny. And this was... What? Hold on. Hold on. I'm hearing something. No. All right. Yeah. Was I not just talking about how, you know, it's also talking about the two cards I got was purification and vulnerability, rain and meadow. What does rain do? What? Okay, when you guys go out and it, and it just got done raining, what, when you're breathing in that air, that is like the breath of fresh air, right? The most breath of fresh air. Purification, purifying your brain of even though you have got so much stuff going on, purifying your brain of feeling so vulnerable. Uh, for some reason, I felt like using that example of um, the woman or when I, when I was at the store and my card, you know, my bank had overdrawn. I didn't know. Okay, so this stuff, you need to purify your mind of feeling so vulnerable because you're not purposely sitting here going, oh, I feel sorry. For no, you. it's just to the point, just like the example I used. It's just a person can only take so much. You need to, I'm not saying you got to think of every single bright, bright little thing that comes along, but you do need to re-gear your brain because your brain's had enough. Your brain's tired. 
and you are at that point where it's just like, I just, I can't take anymore. It's looking up slowly, but surely blessings in the skies are coming. Just remember that March 24th. I don't even know why I remembered it again. Okay. So it's coming. Just hang in there. Everybody hang in there. Okay. So a closing thought for both groups. And the reason I was kind of giggling. Okay. I got the door. All right. And I'll read some of the words off here. I got the yolk. <laughs> I got the crib. Here comes the baby. That's for the first group. Babies are coming. And the turkin. Or, excuse me, turkey. I was saying turkin because actually I was thinking about those. They actually do have uh, turkins. And I was actually like, oh, I would love to have a turkin. They're so ugly, though. They're so ugly. They're cute. That's a chicken, by the way. Okay, so anyway, door opportunities are waiting for you. And this is just a closing thought for all of you. And for the ones that are sitting here, oh, I see how it's going. Okay. All right, I see it. So anyway, uh, like the door, the door is getting ready to, for both groups. The door is getting ready to open up to a brighter future for you. And we're not, and we're not going to say, you know, for the first group, I mean, it's going pretty fast. It's been going fast for quite a while. And in the right direction. I mean, there's no mm -hmm. doubt. For the second group, um, you need to really purify yourself from feeling so vulnerable. You don't mean to, but you are sinking as far as mentally feeling. I'm not saying feeling sorry for yourself. That's not what I mean. I think everybody has been at that point at one time where you're just like, you just can't take anymore. And then you just sit there and cry. I mean, you're human. If you don't, then you're not. That's how I feel about it. It's okay to feel. And that's where I'm feeling the Pisces are not just, it's not just one of those things up in their head. It's just stuff just keeps hitting them. And there's not a break. Well, there is a break coming. And it, through a partnership of some kind, it's very, very quick and swift. And you're going to get the help. But it's not going to, if you don't pay attention, it won't seem like that. You know what I mean? It's blessings in disguise. Second group, blessings in disguise. Put it in your head. Pay attention. Blessings in disguise. I know I'm repeating this. The brain works this way. You repeat it 10 times, your brain's going to remember it. So repeat it to yourself and pay attention. So then we have the yoke, which is the second group who is feeling extremely weighted down and tired, tired with this with this vulnerability of all the stuff that's been going on. And the money just, just like, you know, as it showed the picture where the water and it's just hitting the ground. I mean, what's the point? You know, might as well be burning your money because it's just not going to do anything. Nothing's happening. Okay, so it says hang in there. First group, definitely backing it up if there's a baby on the way, all right? And if there's not a baby on the way, there will be a baby soon. And I do. I keep getting boy. That's what I'm feeling. And if it's a girl, I guarantee it's going to have like the Tom, like a boy personality. I've known a couple of those. Then we got the turkey. Turkey. Hold up. What about the turkey? Hold on. I don't feel like reading the words on that one. Not at all. So that's crazy because I was when I was sitting there looking at it a while ago, you know, at first I was like, you know, turkey, and then I was like, Thanksgiving. What? Okay, well, Thanksgiving's already done. Okay, so which group is this? I was just talking about the baby. All right, so I'm assuming it feels right. It feels right the ones that I was talking about um, are going to be conceiving a child. And actually, they found a really good relationship. It went really fast. This relationship went extremely, insanely fast. But it's it's the right direction. Matter of fact, it went so fast that it was spinning people's heads. I mean, it was so fast. They're like, you're with somebody? Oh, yeah, 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 I'm married. Oh, we got a baby on the way. Okay. But it's perfectly fine. Um, Thanksgiving. I don't know what this means to you, and I don't always get the information. I see the turkey. I ain't worried about the words. This is for the one that has baby or babies on the way. Okay, something about Thanksgiving. All right, so mark, mark Thanksgiving. That has to do with baby. So if you may not be pregnant right now, there could that could be when maybe the baby's due towards Thanksgiving or maybe that's when you actually, you know, if you've been trying for a long time and it hasn't been happening, that could be around the time. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I don't know. I'm just told to tell you to the ones that have baby on their mind and they've been trying for one or you're pregnant, write down Thanksgiving. All right. I don't get anything past that. I'm sorry on that one, but 
So Thanksgiving. Okay, this kind of wraps this one up. I will look here in just a second and I'll answer some questions. Let me clear out my cards. And I do apologize. It's been forever since I've done the monthly, but um, I'm sure that most will understand that doing the monthly readings, it takes me about an hour for each one. So there's 12, 12. Yeah. So by the time, you know, between just like everybody else, it's been pretty, pretty busy, always something going on. But with the weather and stuff, I figured it'd be a perfect opportunity because a lot of people can't get out. And I'm always, you know, if I can't get out and do something, you know, I get really get tired of cleaning stuff. So I'm always looking for something to do. All right. All right. Now I shall look. Hi, Lance. Okay. All right. Two questions. Let's see if I'm seeing this right. I'm going to do two questions. And then I'll be popping off here, okay? Has anybody got a question? Because if not, I'm just going to pop off and then get ready for I believe Aries is next. And for you YouTubers, this is being done live on Facebook. And you are welcome to follow the links. Um, it has a link to Rooster's Peacock. You can... And if you take and don't just don't just click follow on Rooster's Peacock, make sure you like it because sometimes it does not notify you because I've noticed there's a lot of people just following it, but they're not liking it. And they're like, well, I didn't know you were on. Well, you got to like it. Okay. All right. Has anybody got any questions? Make sure I'm not missing anybody. All right. Well, if nobody's got any questions, I am. I'm going to pop off here. Now, sometimes it happens that it, I don't get updated immediately. So if by chance you had a question and I don't see it when I pop off here, then um, on the next one, when, you first, when I first come on, I just say, hey, I did ask a question the last time on, on let's see, this one is Pisces. So on Aries, you just say, hey, I asked a, I asked a question, but I don't think you saw it. And I'll get to you first one at the end of Aries reading. Okay. All right. I'm going to pop off. Oh. Um, it should be attached to Sarah. Yeah. Go up to the top here, Sarah, where it says Pisces, March 2021. <clears throat> and then it, it says readings by Barda, PayPal, Rooster, Rooster's Peacock. And then go down one more. It says YouTube. Just click on that link and that's my YouTube channel. I still have to upload. I didn't do a whole bunch with it, but I'm going to start doing that again. All right, dears, I'm going to pop off for just a few, literally just for a few. I know yesterday I was going to come back on, but like I said, I had to take a brain minute. So let me see. I don't need much time in between to get going on Aries. So just look for me. Like I said, on Rooster's Peacock, like, don't just follow. And then you'll know instantly when I come on because I'm really not going to give too much warning in between these uh, readings. All right. I will talk to you guys here pretty soon. Bye.